Let's go. Who is it? Libra babies. Okay, my Libras. Straight out, straight out of the gate, and we're off. And Libra's taking the lead as they're rounding the band. They're rounding the love band. It's Libra in the lead. <laughs> love ya, love ya, Libra. Love ya, Libra. Let's shake up some cards around here and play a little tarot. Well, did you see that? The seven pins jumped out right there, Libra. It's kind of, oh my God. <laughs> There's a four wands there too. This is like divine timing card for me. Ooh la la, what's going on around here? I guess it's tarot time for Libra. Who's going off the market, Libra? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Libra. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little bit of tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your view. You know I do. Thank you, Libra. Thanks for the like, what you're thinking about it. So very kind of you. And I always want to say thank you. You know, a moment of gratitude, you know. If you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Libra, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it all, large or small. Going to play a little tarot with you. A little love tarot. Play with uh, the, the Gilded Tarot Royale. Going to clarify it today with our beautiful, beautiful light seers. I got a couple major arcanas to top it off from the tarot apocalyptus and some love cards because I'm looking for a love story around here. Did have some fun cards jump out pre-shuffle. Uh, the, the Seven of Pentacles, which is a divine timing card for me, you know. And four wands jumped out as well. You know, the old 11-11 card, preparing for the big day and all that. Anyway, let's see what's going on around here, Libra style. We're looking for a love story for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Don't know want to jump right now. I reckon we're gonna have we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut and get a couple of overalls. Let's go. Overall love for my Libra babies. Here we go. Here we go, Libra. Queen of Wands showed up. It's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Uh, you know, the Queen of Wands is somebody good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. Got a, got a three wands underneath that. Three wands for me can indicate possibly somebody at a distance. Got a lot of fire here, and here is your major arcana. Justice is showing up on your spread as an overall. Here we go. I think we got some kind of love story. Huh? We're going to take a look. Could be somebody that you know that's at a distance. Can be things balancing out here for you. Queen of Wands, you know. Somebody good looking, exciting, charismatic, all that kind of fun stuff. Give me a love story for my Libras, please. Thank you, love team. Here we go, here we go. Libra, Libra, Libra. First love card out. Finances and career. Well, you know, a lot of you could just be focusing on your, your coins at this particular point in time. Maybe it's somebody that has their eye on you. All I know is with this picture right here, how I read this picture right here, is that you've been planting your, your seeds in your garden of love. And it looks like, it looks like uh, well, we might get a harvest here, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Libra, babies. Libra, love team. Give me a card here for my Libras. What we got going on, love team. Let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Um... Some of my Libras could be dealing with a little bit of financial issues at this particular point in time. I wanted, to, I wanted to take a look at love, but money's showing up around here. Ask for and accept support from others. Uh, finances and career, uh, financial issues. Uh, it's on this uh, card right here. I'm looking for a love story. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go, what do we got, Libra? This situation is calling for you to have faith. So I got somebody here that's possibly at a distance from you. Uh, they may have some fire in their chart. They may be good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. 
Got a faith card on this, my Libra friends. Let's see what let's see what uh, Gilded Tarot has to say. What's going on, Libra? Libra babies. Libra. Looks like you're focused more on your coins than love, but I do got a love story here. Oh, see, huh? <laughs> page a page of swords, Libra. I could say you have your eye on somebody here, huh? That's my little spy, and it's a it's it's an air sign right there. You got your eye on somebody? It's been quiet time, four of swords. You know, that can be a, a, a break. Um, a, a time of healing the heart, healing the mind. And there's judgment under here. There's judgment, big Scorpio major arcana came out. That is a rebirth energy. All right, I'm reading for a Libra right here that's uh, that's uh, believing for uh, silence to end or a separation to end. That's what I'm getting, my Libra. Let's see what's going on around here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on, but possibly with your fire sign, huh? Let's go, Libra babies. Hangman. Oh <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Stuck like Chuck. Stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck. Oh my God, Libra, love's all up on this right here. Oh, he's smoky. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I got a story here. This is the Empress. This is a Libra card. It's a Venus card. It's love and abundance, but it seems to be stuck. Three major arcana came out in a row on this story. It's quiet time. It's quiet time with Libra's friend, possibly at a distance from them. Uh, major Arcanas, right? Uh, judgment, that's about raising something up from the dead. Hangman, there it is, you know, hoping that somebody would possibly get a new perspective about, you know, my beautiful, beautiful Empress energy right here. That's what I got going on. Oh, wow. It's an emperor and an empress story. Okay, all right. The emperor came out and the empress and the wheel of fortune, huh? Possibly the wheel of destiny, possibly the wheel of return. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got a... Oh, 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 there... <laughs> There is a there is a uh, there's a page right here. So there's going to be some communication if this is resonating with you. And uh, <laughs> home now, home now, home now. The big the big Pope of the tarot deck is here. Um, that's a that's the old hierophant. I'm not even sure if we know what the word hierophant means. Um, it means a five. It means contrast in the love arena many times. Um, can be one of those contracts that we set up in the 5D to come here to play out in the 3D. I did get a wheel of fortune on this. I did get a wheel of good luck and good fortune on this, but something seems to be stuck. It's going to be some communication, though, about going forward. All that being said, let's pull out the light seers and see what's going on around here for my Libra babies. Libra got their eye on somebody. Looks like it's been a little bit quiet. A little bit quiet. Looks like you've been focusing on your finances, and many times we will do that. If our love life is not going the way that we want our love life to go, we will focus on our finances. All right. So who are you thinking about right here, Libra? This is a pretty specific story. It's an emperor and an empress story that's stuck. It's stuck right now. Looks like they're going to be talking, though. Page of Cups to a Hierophant. Talking about the important things. Let's go. Let's go. Who are you thinking about? <laughs> Nine of Cups. The, the genie bottle jumped out right there, right? This is this is old school tarot. You know, the old make a wish card right there jumped out. You know, make a wish, dream dreamer. Let's go, let's go. All right. I want to know. I got an empress and an emperor right here. They seem to be in some kind of separation. Yeah, I got a wheel of fortune too. So, Libra, your friend right here. Your friend right here. We'll call him the emperor, okay? Male or female, okay? We'll call him the emperor right there. What is Libra's friend thinking and feeling about Libra, love team? Here we go, here we go. What are they thinking and feeling about Libra? 
Oh, wow. Um, quiet. Four Swords came out here. Both of you seem to be uh, mirroring that Four of Swords. There's some healing going on around here, you know. Definitely quiet. They feel the quiet, too. You guys haven't been chatting for a minute. What are they thinking and feeling about Libra, please? What's Libra's friend thinking and feeling about Libra right now? Thank you. Oh, the moon came out. Wow, look at this. Look at this right here. The moon came out. That's divine feminine energy. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, man. They're deep in their feels. I'm not sure if they know what. We, we need to pull some more cards on this, huh, Libra? You know, that's the ocean of emotion right there. That's the ocean of emotion. I'm not sure if you're old. Well, they could, you know, there's fire all over this, right? Um, I'm not sure if they know how to process what they're feeling, you know. Let's go, let's go, Libra, Libra. What's, what's Libra's friend thinking and feeling about my Libra? Give me a card, please. Oh, wow, 10 pins came out. What? You know, whoever this is over here, they're swooning on you. They're definitely swooning on you. You know, they're, they're processing. <laughs> they're processing like my video's doing right now. They're processing. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know, I, no wonder Make-A-Wish came out, right? Give me more on this. What's this about Ten of Pentacles and the Ocean of Emotion? Give me something. What's Libra's friend thinking and feeling about them? Now they think, look. I mean, there's hope here. It is an emperor and an empress story with a hierophant on it. Uh, and a wheel of fortune, a wheel of destiny. This may be one of those journeys. That's eight pinnacles. See, and look at, look at, look at them, looking at the, uh, looking at the 10 pinnacles right there. I need to describe the cards a little bit. Uh, eight pinnacles. That's, you know, they, they, they're deep in their thought about you. I'll tell you that. All hope isn't out the window. Sometimes lovers need a little break from each other. Give me one more from my Libra. What's Libra's friend thinking and feeling about him these days? Uh, three of Cups. Yeah, that's a, that's a reconciliation energy with the cards that have come out here. All right. What's Libra thinking and feeling about their friend? It's Libra thinking and feeling about their friend. Libra, babies. Five of Wands. <laughs> Damn it. You know, another five here. Uh, this can be about, you know, competition. They did show up as a queen of wands, male or female. Queen of wands can be a little promiscuous, male or female, Libra. <laughs> you may be on track right there. You know, five of wands is a tussle. It's a drama card. It's a, you know, potential, you know, competition in the love arena. Hmm. Give me some right here for Libra. What's Libra thinking and feeling about their friend? Give me a card, please. Oh, seven of wands. That's nice. It's <laughs> Zen. Oh. It's Zen. It's like Wusa. We're, you know, we're good. Uh, this is my hero's card, you know. Look at them look right at five of wands right there. But they're all Zen, you know. Um. That's really how, that's really how we catch them, you know. We catch them in the spirit realm, guys. We do. We catch them in the spirit realm. I see, I see Libra on that path right here. I do. There's a lot of major arcanas. There's a lot of major arcana. Give me one more. What's Libra thinking and feeling about their friend? Yeah, Wusa. Wusa. Here we go. Um, four pinnacles. <laughs> I'm giggling because... Four Pentacles is my card about, you know, trying to shut the door, <laughs> but holding on to somebody with your heart chakra, being zen about the situation, just backing off from the drama for a minute, you know, if there isn't competition, you know, just giving it a minute, giving it, giving it space to breathe. Give me a couple more right here for Libra, what they're thinking and feeling about their friend. I like it. I do. Oh, there they Oh, uh, the King of Wands came out. Yeah, somebody's got some fire in their chart around here. 
Somebody's got some fire in their chart around here, but I did get a matching pair. It is the king and the queen of passion. Oh, Lord, help us all. Lord, help us all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is about trying to, you know, it's a story about balance. Hopefully coming in. Oh, look at the bottom of the deck right here is the four of wands. The 1111 card. Huh? Oh, there's my Libra right there sitting on the mountaintop, male or female. Huh? Zen, baby. Zen. Just giving it to the gods right here. Giving it to the gods. Oh, and there's the Hierophant, like I said, giving it to the gods. Look at these cards. All right. Wusa, Libra. Wusa. Nice spread right here with your emperor, or your empress, whoever this is about. But you got a wheel of fortune. It talks about uh, justice, about uh, your love life beginning to balance out. We did get the make a wish card, make a wish, dream dreamer. Nice spread. Let's get a couple major arcana on here for Libra, please. And see what they say for my Libra babies, my Libra babies. It's just quiet time. It's Zen time between the emperor and the empress. It's not unusual on a tarot spread. The wheel came out right beside them. I wouldn't say this is over at all. Give me a major, please. Oh, look at judgment came out. Scorpio, huh? It's a rebirth energy as an overall right here for many of my Libra friends. So that's that card about Phoenix from its ashes. Yeah, it's my lovers. It's my lovers. Your lovers showed up in my spread, Libra. I don't know. Aphrodite got the wheel right there, my friend. Kind of an interesting spread, you know. Oh, and it's the emperor. Look at the cards. Look at the cards. Aphrodite and the old emperor right there. And they, they both seem to have a wheel in their hand. Yeah, dream dreamer. There's a star for you. There's a star. It's about great hope and great faith. And the potential for dreams to become reality. Libra, if you made it this point in the video, thank you very much for your view. Uh, very, very kind of you to let the videos just roll. Thank you so very much, my friend. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. Uh, you know, I, I, hopefully I've earned your, your subscription. You know, as one of your tarot readers, if I have, smash that subscription button, Libra. Ring my bell over there. Hit that I like Mike button if you would. Also, I want to invite you to stick around, play a little bit more tarot if you would like. I got some Libra videos up here. I got a new series I'm starting, Sunday Fun Days. They're around here somewhere. Anyway, anyway, I also got a bunch of stuff over on my homepage. Anyway, I, I, it's a beautiful story here. It's a story of great hope and great faith between Aphrodite and uh, their very stubborn lover, huh? May all your dreams come true, Libra. I'll pull some cards here for you in a few short days. Love and light. Bye for now. All right, all right, all right. Let's rock and roll.